guys, I just want to show you my hairline. That's better. Guys, I just want to show you my hairline. Like before, I didn't have this. Like I didn't have this. I don't know if what you call these baby hairs. Like this one is was like more like from braiding. It was more bald, but it's not um like as bad no more. But that is because of this mixture right here that I created. And I wanted to test it first. Like it helps with dandruff. It helps to um, thicken the hair. It helps to moisturize the hair. Um, it helps for the, um, you're not losing as much hair. Um, and then it strengthens the hair so that it can grow properly, right? So uh, I did this mixture and I was testing it. And I wanted to test it on my own hair. And I also tested it on babe's hair. But my hair feels so much softer and my oil. So this is the oil. What I did is I put the oil in this jar. It doesn't belong in this. I emptied out what I had in here and I used it in here. So this is um, aloe vera rosemary and all that different stuff so i've been using these two things um i haven't been because my hair was braided down in a protective style and i was wearing a wig i didn't um i used to forget to put it in but for the t for the amount of times that i did put it in my hair like my hair is like i don't like i naturally have straight hair um, I naturally have straight hair when, like, after a while. Like, if I wet it now, it the shrink game is crazy. But then when I twist it like this out, this is how. Because yesterday my hair got wet from the rain. And it had kind of retracted. But I know when I twist it, it gets back its length. So, I need to cut my ends. I need to wash my hair, cut my ends. But what I'm going to do... Instead of washing my hair, I am going to just condition it, basically, is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to condition my hair. So, my hair is growing, but it's growing um, more healthy. I normally have this really dry, crispy hair, just like my skin is very dry. And um, I decided to research and create something for myself. So, I created a body butter that I've been using on my um, skin and the results is amazing. Like normally I would have to, this is what I used to normally use. I used to use this, but it wasn't, it never used to last like all day. And um, it never used to like make me not need a pedicure as often either. But I find with my body, my body butter that I created, it's solving all that problem. And I don't have to, um, I don't have to lotion my skin as often. Like I lotion my skin and the moisturize it will moisturize my skin and it will last for like all day. So my feet are soft. So um yeah, so I am about to today is Saturday and I am going to twist this back and put it back, <laughs> tie something around my head. And then I'm going to start cleaning. So, guys, join me on this reset. I'm going to start upstairs. Because when I start downstairs, sometimes I don't do a good job upstairs because maybe I'm tired. Downstairs, just really need a lot of straightening up from baby Zyla in the living room. And then it just needs to sweep, vacuum, and mop, basically. And then I have a lot of clothes to wash. So, guys, join me on this um, reset and then I have to go on the road to print some prints and you will see I finally I'm finally putting some prints in the artwork downstairs 
So you see that on this video and you also see what I added to it. <laughs> so let's start this reset while I, as I clean, okay? Hey family and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a reset video. So today is Saturday and I am cleaning, cleaning, cleaning to, you know, giving my space. This is how I give my space a really good clean on a Saturday so that I can feel relaxed. I can relax more on a Sunday and just enjoy the Sunday to start my Monday, if that makes sense. So guys, enjoy this video as I clean. I'm starting from upstairs because normally I will start downstairs and then upstairs gets doesn't get like that real in-depth detail that I would want to give it because you get a little tired. <laughs> so I'm starting from upstairs today and work my way downstairs, okay? So hey family, if this is your first time seeing me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. On this channel, we like to do interior design videos. We like to do lifestyle videos, DIY, cooking, and some cleaning. So if that is what you like to see, go ahead and stick around. Don't forget to share and leave comments down in the comment section. I do answer all of my comments. So guys, I am not going to do much talking in this video. Um, I'm just going to let you guys watch me tidy up my bathroom and my bedroom and my hallway and uh, my living room and stuff. <laughs> So this is my bat bomb that I made and I like it was a tester I crushed them up and put them in there but I did do a bath the night before and of course baby Zala had to jump up in there but I noticed it has like um charcoal in there and I know charcoal is real good for the skin but I find like it leaves a lot of residue the charcoal so I don't think I am going to be adding that I don't want anyone leaving any reviews saying oh the charcoal this and that as though people don't know charcoal leaves a residue so I'm glad that I test out my stuff first so you know I'm very particular so if it's gonna bother me it's gonna bother somebody else so yeah so I'm just going to scrub it out because this this tub takes a while for the water to drain out so I am going to scrub that out and clean up this tub. Guys, I dislike this shower with a passion. Like, I cannot wait 
until the day comes when I renovate my bathroom. Because I am a big girl and this shower is a little less than three feet wide. And it's about two, two and a half feet deep. Like this thing is so small and it's ugly. <laughs> so I cannot wait to renovate my bathroom. Like I can't wait. I have to put it on my agenda and then work towards it. Guys, remember I told you about those diffusers? So I also have one inside of my water closet. I swear, as I do my videos, I always see how I never finish a project. Now I did this vanity about three years ago and as you can see I never got down on my knees to stain the bit, the bottom, the kick plate of it. <laughs> and I think I didn't do it because I said I want to renovate my bathroom. So I don't know. So here is the aftermath of um, baby Zyla passing through. <laughs> This is the aftermath of her passing through. Like she jumps from one place to the next. And some of it is me too. Cause I was sitting there and doing my Bible study, you know, studying the Bible and stuff. Guys, this is my body butter that I was telling you guys about. That, um, I don't know if it was in this video, but I was telling you guys about my body butter and how I, um, it actually is this video. How, you know my skin gets really really dry and stuff like that so that is the body butter and that one is available on my website jack essential candles Okay guys, so I have not been sleeping on my bed. I haven't been here, so, um, but like I said, when baby Zala is here and she loves to go on my bed and jump in and stuff, my bed still doesn't like get that messy per se because of how I tuck my sheets. So remember I told you guys about tucking your sheets, it makes the, um, the styling of your bedding lasts longer and it indoors more. But I have been laying on my sofa actually um, more. Like, I don't know, I don't know why, but I have been laying on my sofa and I end up falling asleep there. So that also helps not have to make a bed every day. <laughs> So I am, I notice like there's a lot of like dust always on the sofa when I clean it. And I know it's coming from my fan. So I haven't cleaned that fan in a minute because the ladder that I used to have upstairs, it went downstairs and every time I'm like, I need to clean my fan, I'm just like, oh my God, the ladder is downstairs. So I did get this extender that I can use to um, clean the fan. So you'll see me doing that as well. And guys, I must give a review, like an update review on this um, vacuum I'm using, this Bissell. This thing is powerful. It's good. So I would definitely say yes is a buy. So guys, I am now spraying my bed and also spraying my draperies. Like I said, this is what I do. 
um, on the weekends and the scent, like my bedroom just have this awesome smell. And that's what makes you feel like relaxing, like truly, truly relaxing. So yes, I feel like I did do some double working because I just vacuumed that sofa. <laughs> and all that stupid dust from the fan fell on the sofa. So I did see that the sofa had some stains on it. And again, that's why I like this um, microfiber type fabrics because it wipes right out. I don't know what that was on there, but it was, I don't know. I don't know if my kids were sitting there eating something. I don't know if something spilled there. I don't know if it's like, I don't remember what I could have been doing to make that stain happen. Guys, I don't know why I was, I didn't want to go downstairs and get my scan. So I'm actually walking around with the phone videoing as I go. And this is my entry as you step out the bedroom. You guys don't normally see um, this because it's not like that interest interesting. But you do see that I have the wax melter sitting there. And that's me transferring the scent throughout my house. So finally, we are mopping. <laughs> so we are mopping with my Swifter. And um, then we're down with downstairs. I mean, with upstairs. So I did the bedroom, I did the bathroom, I did the hallway, I did the stairs. Okay guys, so today we're cooking chicken soup and I just realized like, hey, you're not um, videoing this. <laughs> so I have seasoned chicken in here and the chicken is seasoned. I'll show you the different seasons that I use and then I also put some onions, some celery and some um, garlic of course and some um, doo -doo 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 celery. Okay, so I have it in here. There's a little bit of water. It's not a lot. And you see like this, I always scrape this stuff off. Right here, that's like, yeah. It grosses me out, so. So that's what I have in here. See, this is the bottom of the pot, there's a little bit of water. Don't forget, I told you guys that um, chicken creates its own water. So I'm gonna let the chicken pre-cook and then after it pre-cooked, I will add um, the different stuff in it, okay? So we're gonna cover this up, let, it, let the chicken pre-cook, and then we're gonna add everything else to it. So again, we're making chicken soup today.
Okay, so this is what I seasoned the chicken with. This one, and I also used this, and I also used some of this. Okay, so that's what my chicken is seasoned with today to make the chicken soup. Okay, guys, so these are the ingredients that I'm going to be putting in there. So I'm going to add some corn. I actually wanted to add some um, pumpkin, but they don't have any pumpkin in the stores. Carrot, some tanya, some Irish potato, um, cabbage, and then this is one of the main ingredients that we put in ours, which is vegetable soup and cream of chicken. Okay, so these are what I am going to put in with the chicken along with some dumplings. So I'm also going to mix up some dumplings, but those go in like quite to the end. So right now... This is how the chicken is looking. I just added a little bit more water to it because the water was kind of boiled down. So I am going to cut up all this stuff, put them in some water so that they can rinse off. And then I'm going to start adding them to this. The first thing that I'm going to add is the carrots and the corn. That's what I'm going to add first. Because this and this cooks down re really fast, excuse me. This, I'm going to add it in, but I'm adding the dumplings, excuse me. And this and this is going to go in right before the dumplings. Okay, these, like I say, cook fast. So I'm going to put these in when um, I feel like these are more than halfway cooked. Okay, so let me cut them up and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so... I forgot to tell you that this is also, I love to put this in mine. So it's cock soup. I love, 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 love to put this in my chicken soup. Without it, it just don't taste the same anymore. So here I have um, everything. I am not putting more than one carrot in it because I kind of like skip around the carrot when I'm eating the soup. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to put stuff in here that's not going to be eaten. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I need to add some water now to the pot because now we need to get the pot to the soup stage, right? So we're going to add some more water in there, okay? And let me show you how much water. Let me get this. I'm going to tell you how much water. So that's one cup. Two cups of water, it's three cups of water. I want to increase my fire so that it can start to boil again. So I added three cups of water. As you can see, if you keep adding water, it's gonna um, remove the flavor, right? And that's it. So I added four cups of water and then I am going to add some seasoning back into it. Not too much because the cock soup has, sorry, had the water running. The cock soup has water, I mean has the same, that same seasoning in it. Okay, so I'm going to also add the carrot. So let me cut up this carrot and then I'll add it in there. Okay, so here are the carrots. I have added the carrots in there. And now I am going to re-season the pot, right? With the sodium, the salts. Okay? So I'm going to add in, remember the cock soup has it, but I don't put my cock soup. I'm gonna add some more of this again. Let's put some more of this back in there. Back some of this, add some more of this to it. Cause I wanted to have just a kick of spice. Right? And then I'm going to add some black pepper. Now you notice I didn't put no cloves in this. Cloves gives stuff a certain flavor and I don't like that flavor in my soup. So it only has garlic. Okay? So, I'm going to let this cook down. Oh, my finger was in the way. I'm gonna let this now start to come to a boil and in the next 15 minutes, I will come and I would add the um, 
I'll first taste it and then I'll start to add all the other ingredients like the cock soup. The reason why I don't add my cock soup now is they have noodles in them and the noodles tend to make your food start to stick. Um, so I always try to add those, add it to coming down to the end is when I would add it. Okay, so I'm going to let this go ahead and boil. And then I'll add in my other stuff a little bit later. I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm recording and then I feel like I'm missing stuff. I don't know why I don't just get my stand so I can move frequently. I mean freely. But, oh, we forgot the time. <laughs> I just looked behind me and I saw the time sitting on the counter. Okay. We Caribbean people, we love time. We love to cook with time. Time and parsley and stuff. We love that, but... I always forget to pick up parsley when I'm at the store. Okay, so guys, I'm going to let this come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, like I said, I'm not going to add any more water because you have the different soups I have to put in here. Um, and those stuff are going to, when I put this to sweat, it's going to create a little bit more water in there. Okay? And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So now I am ready to add my other um stuff so i'm gonna add the potatoes the tanyas and um and the cabbage right the reason why i'm not adding the dumplings right now is because the dumplings are gonna make this get real thick if you have them boiling there too long okay so you don't want to add the dumplings right now and this has a, a good way to go so when i think that these are about half cooked the the ones that i just put in is when i would go ahead and i would add the dumplings because i don't want the dumplings cooking too long because they're gonna make my soup too thick it's flour okay Guys, why I like to add the cabbage in here? I don't know. Cabbage gives off a, a slight sweet taste. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that before. So it's going to give the chicken soup a little sweet taste. Right? So, now that I've added that, what I'm going to add next is, now I'm going to put this in there. And I'm going to also add the soups. Let me go get my stands to put you guys on the stand. I don't know why I didn't do that from before. Hold on. So bad. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to add the cock soup as well. Remember I told you this also has like a seasoning in it? So it also has the seasoning in it, and it also has um, noodles in it. And I'm only adding one because this is a small pot of soup. It's not a big, it looked like a lot, but it's really not a big pot of soup, right? And then I'm going to add these to it, so let me wash the tops off. That's one thing I always do, guys, when I bring stuff from the store that, that's cans. I always wash the tops off before I open them up. Like, I don't care if it's a soda. Like, I don't care what it is. So this is like really thick. I'm trying to... I'm trying not to dirty too much stuff. Because then I got cleaner, right? So you're going to put this entire um, cream of chicken, you're going to put the entire thing in here. Uh, oh, I'm cramping up. Oh, 
And next we have the vegetable soup. I just put a little bit of water in the, in the, the can so that I could um, get the rest of it out. Okay, so you want to mix that. Now that cream of broccoli, that cream of um, chicken is going to make this get the thickness, the, the consistency that I'm looking for. That's going to give it. That's why I don't add my dumplings as yet. So I'm going to let all this stuff, all my, my provision, my ground provision is what we call them. I'm going to let all of that cook down first. My chicken is like completely cooked at this point. Um, so I'm going to let that cook down. I'm trying to break up the cream of broccoli. I mean the cream of chicken. I keep saying cream of broccoli. I'm trying to break it up. And... I'm going to let that come to a boil, and then once it does, then I'll show you um, how I make my dumplings. The, the type, I don't, I don't, I make the dumplings the same way, but it's, I don't, I don't like, I'll show it to you, like how I do droplets. That's what I'm trying to say. So my dumplings are going to be droplets versus how you normally see me cut the dumplings, Okay.
Okay, so while we wait until the pot is ready, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and tidy up these dishes. So I know you guys don't normally see me use this part of my um, faucet, but I like this part because it doesn't create that um, splash. When I'm using a hose, it's a little bit more powerful. And so when you put your hand like in the water, it splashes like on the back up on the top and stuff like that but with this it doesn't do that so sometimes i do like to use it as well you would see where the light was changing color and when it goes to green it's when the it has reached to the temperature that you turn the nozzle to so that's another cool feature of this um faucet Guys, it's always best to clean as you go. So when you're finished cooking and stuff, you don't feel like you have so much to go and do now. Okay, guys, the way you know that your dumplings are done is when they start to float. Okay? So this pot is finished. See the noodles? Do you see it? The noodles makes your pot stick. I don't know why. But that's why I always put them in last. But it's done. The stove is now off. And it's ready to serve. So guys, thank you guys for watching another cooking video with me. And again, if you tried this recipe, go ahead and let me know. Okay? Bye for now. Thank you.